Sup everyone, I'm your female otaku and I'm here to review episode... What what episode is this? I didn't even write it down this time, well that sucks. I'll find out when I put it in the title of Ajin. And with this episode of Ajin, K is starting to get an in-your-face message as to why he has to change, why he should change, and why everyone, why, why he isn't exactly getting along with everybody else, things like that. So I'm really glad that they showed that because, you know, like I mentioned last week, Kay's kind of more on the selfish side and he thinks logically all the time, but just because you think logically all the time doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. Doesn't mean that you should think logically all the time. I mean, of course, you gotta use, you know, your senses, you can't be stupid, but K definitely needs to be more like Nakano. You see, I really love Nakano's character because putting Nakano and K side by side really shows you the difference. Because Nakano, he thinks like a normal person. A normal person when they use a gun for the first time, hex yeah, that's gonna hurt like a bitch. Not like K where he's just all like bam 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 and it's just like, what the fuck man? Okay? And Nakano, he's still nervous about dying and everything. That's totally human! Nakano is a normal person, he's supposed to be like us. Sure, he's probably more energetic than a majority of us, and he's definitely a little silly, but overall, he's totally human. And he has and feels the same emotion and express expresses those same emotions that we do. So I can relate to Nakano quite a bit, but I cannot relate to Kay. And like I said, yeah, it's good to think logically, but he also needs to have a heart. He needs emotion. In fact, emotion can help you think on the more logical side of things. Like, what he thought of when he was told that Kai is in juvie. He was just like, oh, he's probably safer there. That's not human at all! That's like, what? You're okay with Kai being in prison after all he has done for you? You are okay that he's in prison just because you believe he's safer there. That is unbelievable. It really shows you Kay's psyche and how much he really needs to change. So I'm glad that the adults in this episode kept on bringing that up to Kay. He still doesn't really realize it. Like he, he says that his father was a big surgeon and he and all of his patients loved him. Even the ones who were discharged from the hospital still wrote him letters. But then this one patient really needed an organ transplant. So what happened is that his father went over to the black market to try to get the patient the right organs and his career was ruined. So Kay says it's because of that weakness that causes downfall. Just like, no, that's that's not it, Kay. It really isn't. So I really hope he realizes soon that he needs to sh show more emotion and that his it's okay for his emotions to lead him to the right path to what he should decide on next. You get my drift. Let's talk this episode. We learn more about Kay's troublesome IBM and. It's the fact that because of K and how he acts, it's the same way how the IBM is gonna act. For example, what the professor gave, he said that, uh, you know how a child could say and do bad things, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the child is bad, it's that its teacher, its parent, is in the wrong. The, the child is only copying what the parent says. Like, if the parent, this is a, a good example, if the parent curses a lot, you don't want your five-year-old child to be cursing, but if your child does curse, it's on the parent because the parent has been watching themselves and hasn't been a good role model to their child. And that's how it's like with Kay's situation and his IBM. And speaking of IBMs, Nakano is trying to get his own IBM, so he's trying to find the most painless way to die and something fast so that he can form his own IBM. Honestly, a grim scene, but I, I like how they handle it in the anime. They kind of they try to move past it as much as as quick as possible because over in the manga, I was like, ooh. That's heavy, man. <laughs> and yeah, that was this episode. So catch me tomorrow as I upload a Snacku unboxing video. I'm your female Taku. Sayonara. Well,